I could really say a lot about periods, but I ha I literally, I literally had to stop that video. I think it was for like four minutes. I was like, this is crazy. six number 50 our golden anniversary edition um 50 yeah so uh this episode we're actually going to be responding to a message that we got in regards to our uh one of our more recent episodes on periods two men on periods the name of the episode we'll leave the link down in the description go check that one out uh so you can be up to date. Now we did receive a a response to that. Mm -hmm. Somebody mailed in. Um, well, pardon me, sent us an audio mm -hmm. recording, mm -hmm. and we're going to go ahead take a listen to that and respond to it. And she's got a couple questions, uh, but before that, we want to bring to your attention uh, a website that has been brought to our attention: I Sell Glass dot shop. shop. So, and I saw glass. They got things like pipes and bubblers. They got dab rigs. Yeah. Things like that. Anything you need. Yeah. Um, Smoke dabs before? Um, no, I'm not opposed to it. You know, yeah. I've done I've done uh, shatter on a J, but never like straight dab. Yeah. And, uh, but you know, it's not something I'm opposed to. Right. Uh, they got bubblers, Gandalfs. <laughs> I don't know what a Gandalf is, but I'm. A, Picturing it right now as we speak. All right. Uh, Gandalf pipe. Probably what's in her hand looks Maybe. pretty close to a Gandalf. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, you can also use their automated shopper, and it can customize what you're looking for and kind of pinpoint maybe for you if yeah, you're yeah. not quite sure. And yeah, narrow down some of the options a little bit. Yeah. That's, so. that's a nice feature. It is. So, yeah, once again, that's... Uh, I sell glass dot shop um, slash discounts slash a6 studios uh, use the promo code a6 studios to get 20% off your purchases I know we just said the whole damn thing and the whole little commercial uh, commercial that we made we said it already but we say it again just to go ahead and get you guys acclimated to the fact that we are pushing this in a whole different way a6 is going in a global. whole different way. Yeah. Um, that being said, we're also starting a Patreon. And if you join our Patreon, you will have access to exclusive content that may not be friendly enough for here on YouTube. So <laughs> be ready to uh, be ready to miss Experience out. Experience some fun shit. Be ready to miss out or get in on it. One of the two. You know I, what I mean? Because if you're not, you're going to miss out. Yep. Anyway, that being said, uh, let's get right into it. You want to listen to the combo? Yeah, let's get into that. This is from your girl, Mello. <laughs> you know, I was always watching it. I was like, down. I wish I was sitting there right there with him. And he sure did caption it a heated debate because I'm feeling heated. Um, um, for me, personally, going through like this, this changes of healing and knowledge and growing in myself um, and understanding that periods are not just periods like you don't just bleed from a vagina it's a lot that goes with it and for women who don't carry a clean lifestyle walking around a job being around other people it's unclean for them you wouldn't go around work carrying a carcass of a chicken that's just bleeding would you no, not just chicken. I mean, it could be anything, because think about it. Um, the blood that's leaving the woman 
or any time blood leaves any body, um, it's dead now. Like, it has no more purpose. Like, you know, blood, you know, when it's in your body, it's, like, blue. But once it, it touches the air, it turns. It turns in color, and it goes to red, right? So it's dead. It's, like, I was just using a random-ass chicken just to make a point, you know, that it, it's dead. It, you know, you don't go around carrying, like, dead blood. I mean... Hell, you can't even do that in a hospital that's un that's considered unclean. A periods are sacred times. Um, of course, in this generation, or at least on this side of the world, in our culture, we don't really practice um, that here that doesn't take away from how precious it is. Um... I could really say a lot about periods, but I ha I literally, I literally had to stop that video. I think it was like four minutes. I was like, this is crazy. It had me heated for a second. <laughs> and I had to come back into the comments and just tell you, what the fuck? <laughs> um, there's, there's no equality. It's just an imaginary ass piece of paper brought forth by law but it's not real it's just it's we just not the same and when i say we're not the same that's not to take away from the other you know i'm not saying that women are better than men or men are better than women not one is less than the other we're just simply not the same and it goes further than just a pussy and a dick like it's further than that so I'm definitely going to go back and uh, keep listening. But let me ask you this. <clears throat> Why do you think women want to be equal to men? Like, what's up with that? Um, when we have our, our own power, surely it works in its own way. It's not the same. Do you think it's the power of money? Now, um, before we answer her last question, which was, do we think that women even want to be equal to men? Okay. Uh, I'd like to point out that, that that is something that we didn't point out, or I didn't point out in the last episode, mm -hmm. when trying to champion my ideals, which, by the way, are kind of shaky. I'm not saying I would, everything I was saying was right. Yeah. But one thing that we did miss out on altogether was the spiritual aspect of of the period because that is actually a very very important aspect of what happens with the woman yeah i mean her her period's in line with the stars man you know well the moon itself like yeah. that it's, it's astronomy in a way yeah it's something that like if you really think about it if you're talking about sacred texts or things you want to keep you know what i mean yeah things you want to keep safe in this world that are sacred yeah but see the thing is though but see again though you know what i mean you know you know when uh when she reached out, you know, one of the things that she mentioned in it was perspective. You know what I mean? That's the type of perspective that we wouldn't have or probably, you know, wouldn't have come up with if we thought of, you know, 10 things, you know, 20 things or whatever, you know, in regards to that, just because, you know what I mean? You know, we're not built like that, so we wouldn't even think like that. Man. Right, which is kind of makes it a redundancy, the fact that we have a two-hour episode on a subject that we really only, like, beat the corners of you know what i mean true <laughs> and that's true but that's also part of the male complex is that we don't fucking know what the hell we're talking about well a lot of the times we only have an idea of what we want things to be like and we try to understand it but well i would i would say in a better way to say that is opinionated but have barely scratched the surface exactly and that's you know not just men it's women it's just humanity as a whole we are very opinionated about the things that we think, but we really have just scratched the surface yeah. of what life is supposed to be like. We've exactly. lost more information about the history of our planet and our people than we ever will know. Yeah. You know what I mean? But see, that that's also why communication is important. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. You know, you know being able to, you know, to discuss, you know, all different types of things, you know, with, you know, your contemporaries, your peers, all that shit. You know what I'm saying? Right. But then also in a case like this, you know, for Melo getting feedback. You know what I mean? Right. Even and in that way. And actually, really quick, before we go any farther, thanks. Because uh, it really gives, a, like, a human touch to what we're doing here. Yeah. That we're reaching somewhere other than just our little man cave. You know what I mean? 
and we do uh, we do a lot in our little dungeon. The dungeon. Lots of dungeon things. I had him hanging upside down by his ankles just the other day. I was whipping him with a crab's claw. Don't believe that shit. A big Alaskan crab's claw. <laughs> don't believe that shit. <laughs> you know, later on we cooked it up in butter don't, and just don't believe slobbered it down. Anyway, don't believe that shit. <laughs> but yeah, so on to the question. He ate the crab. I watched him. I've eaten a few crabs. I just sit there sometimes and I'm just like. <laughs> But anyway, that's nasty as shit. Man. It's really nasty. <laughs> yeah, I'm it's sorry. Really... I'm sorry. You know, mixed right, back on point, man. Back on point. Not. So the actual question uh, that she ended it off with: Do we think that women even want to be equal to men? You know, and that's something uh, I was actually considering just today because I was watching the movie or I was watching the show Vikings. Okay. Okay. And in Vikings, there's a girl who starts out as basically a slave. Like homely girl, she goes gets water, comes back, feeds the ducks, whatever, mm -hmm. and then eventually she gets her freedom and becomes super punchy. Like I'm gonna do whatever I want to do now. I'm gonna go to the war and got fucked up. You know what I mean? And then regretted it, and then was crying later mm -hmm. about like, oh, to her guy, are you even gonna want to marry me now that my face is all jacked up? It's like that's that's what kind of what you're asking for in a way yep. you know what i mean but but what she's saying here is congruent with the studies like that say that a lot of women didn't want specifically equality mm -hmm. because equality would include things like bucket duty and fire brigade you know what i mean back in the day especially yeah back in the day when they started this especially it would have meant drafting you have to go to war and all that stuff like yeah. Yeah. true yeah. equality so that's why I think a lot of women. You know, but it's funny like that though, in, in, other, in other countries it's like that. Though. You know what I'm saying? Like how you how you mentioned drafting for an example and shit. Right, right. In some countries and shit, like when you hit a certain age, you're required to. Enlist. I'm you sure. I think I'm sure in Israel, even girls. Yes. Go into the yes, military. Yes. Yeah. As an example, yes, it as is like example. it is like that. But there are also lots of countries where the women are prohibited from touching weapons. So it goes all the way from you can't touch mm -hmm. a weapon yeah. to you, you must have no choice. Pick up a weapon yeah. like us. Yeah. And, you know, if you were to ask the women in that range which ones of you are happier, yeah. I think it might be the women who don't get to touch a weapon. Because the man is not... If, if he's going to set such a premise mm -hmm. as you're not allowed to do something, then he's going to have to take the whole other side up, right? Yeah. He'll have to in order to make it work. Yeah, and, but, and if it's know, working... Yeah, yeah, but see, you know, sometimes that could, that could be, you know, a detriment to the women, though, you know? Because if they don't have no know how how to defend themselves, bro, they get attacked, bro. It's over. That's true. It's fucking over. That is true. Especially when you're dealing with like tribes. Like before, we, before white man hit this land, it was literally tribes. I mean, all the way from South America into America, all the way up into Canada, it was tribe, 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 tribe. Mm -hmm. And yes, it was pretty much that way. You know what I mean? If the men are away, the women are vulnerable. And that could happen if the men are away on a war tribe. But, you know, all that just comes into karma. A real good group of people is going to stay close and not leave. I mean, bro, I, mean I hear what you're saying about karma and shit, bro, but you got to remember the world don't work like that, man. Motherfuckers just do shit sometimes, man. Well, yeah, you know, and they make moves and shit sometimes at people's expense. You understand me? Yeah, yeah. And, it, and fate will bring them to their own... Uh, to their own judgment, you know what I mean? At some at some point, I mean, yeah. But I mean, I ain't even going that far. I'm just saying, you know what I mean? Just you know, sometimes because you know you try to do right, live right, and shit. I don't want to say squeak it clean and shit, you know what I mean? But again, you know what I mean? So that's sometimes the, fate will deal you a different hand, bro. That's all I'm saying. You know? I got you. I got you. That's all I'm saying. I just wanna I just wanna clarify though your position on the actual question. Do you think that women? Want equality, Equ like I, equality. I want to touch on. I, I, I'm gonna answer the question, but I want to touch on something. You know, before I give my answer in response to something you were talking about, about uh, you believing that the happier of the two would be the ones that don't have to touch weapons at all. Right. I think. I think it's the other way around. Right. The reason why I do is because I think. You know, a woman that you know has been you know been trained like that. The would, glory of the Valkyrie, basically. Whatever, whatever lady you want to put on is fine. But like, I think, you know, she would feel 
a heightened sense of empowerment. You know what I mean? You know, it doesn't even have to be from an arrogance perspective. You know what I mean? Because, you know, I'm not implying that, you know, X percentage of women are arrogant. I, don't, like, I ain't even about that. I mean, I'm sure there's a percentage, but whatever. No, but, like, but that's true what but, you're saying. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, it, like, it don't even have to be about trying to be aggressive, but just, you know, you know, being given the skill set and having put in the training and the reps and you have the know-how that if a case were to arise where you had to protect yourself, could you do it? You know what I mean? I feel like, you know, women being in that state would feel more empowered than ones that don't. You know what I mean? It's just a matter of, you know, are you forced to use it? You know what I mean? But then that's a whole different dynamic right there. You know what I mean? Right. But that's just, that's how I see it. So, and as far as being equal and shit... Um, I would say on on certain places on the chessboard, absolutely yes, but they want to be equal in certain ways. Yes, yes, in certain ways. Like I said, I just like I can't call out all the ways, which is why I, I use the chessboard yeah. as an analogy and shit. But like we don't have to. But I also think in certain ways, they also know that we aren't equal to them. You know what I'm saying? You know, cause you know, cause we're built different. You know what I mean? Exactly. You know, you know, they got equipment that we don't got. We got equipment that they don't got. But you know, that's just one aspect of it. But it is a very real one that everybody can look at. You right. know what I'm saying? I mean, and you know, for me, as far as that one thing, bro, like I don't like I've heard like people say this on like or like read examples of like you know what the pain is like for a woman giving birth. I don't want to know nothing about that shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just from what I read, bro, I'm just like, man, I don't, I don't want to know nothing about that shit. So. Well, the first thing they do is they, they, they reference your pee hole. Yeah. And it's like, oh, that's yeah. enough. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, but there's a vast deference Fuck, between a pee hole and a vaginal opening. I understand that, but still. A vast man. deference. I understand that. Yeah, vast deference. Yeah. Deference. <laughs> but yeah, I, I got you, man. But, right. you know, like I said, you know, like equal in certain ways, yeah, but in all ways, no. You know I mean, it, it's a split field, but I think sometimes when you get movement certain ways and shit, man, you know what I mean? It starts to fuck with the pendulum. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I honestly think that, like, I think all humans should be equal in dignity, but cannot be equal in duty. You know what I mean? Like, all humans should be equal in dignity. Like, we should give every person the dignity and respect that we want. Right. That's the golden rule. That is, right. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But... We shouldn't try to uh, over-assign or under-assign duty to people based on things. So, you know what I mean? Like, we should give people the, the roles that they fit the best. And and, then, uh, and if we want to talk about, the like you said, the woman who learns to train and, and gets strong and is strong enough to defend herself and all that, mm -hmm. like, yes, those women are more confident, mm -hmm. and they're also, they exist in our world. Of course. It's yeah. just those are like the gladiator type of women. Or, or the more like assertive type of women, you know what I mean? The ones that can defend themselves, they are they're not the norm, because a lot Agreed. of women can, like a lot of women can be beat up by their boyfriend who doesn't even lift, you know what I mean? So yeah. it's like, it, yeah. at the end of the day, that's what that's one of the differences that men and women have in a general, in a general way. Right. Okay. But like to go back to your point, because you use Israel for an example. Like, what do you think the statistics would be on the same metric there? Like, you know, you think boyfriends beating up their girlfriends like that there? No, I had a girl, uh, not a girlfriend, but a girl I knew who was from Israel, and mm -hmm. she did serve in the military, and she got shot in the leg. She was, she was in, she went to my vape store, right? Mm -hmm. And she would tell me about shit there, and she was, and I would definitely ask her about like, man, so girls want to, because it. Like, I've heard statistically women will choose other ways, you know? Yeah. And she was like, no, 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 you're right. We don't want to. We get out as soon as we can. Mm -hmm. You go in, you do your time, and you get out because mm -hmm. you don't want to die in battle. Yeah. You want to find a husband, and you know what I mean? A lot of times they meet their husband in battle. Mm -hmm. Like, she's one, one time she looked at me with this love in her eyes. She was looking off in the distance, mm -hmm. and she said that, like, that there was something about an Israeli soldier who's taken a shot in battle that's just uh, overwhelmingly sexy to her. And I remember the way she was looking out into the, into the sky when she said it. I'm like, all right, so those women, this brings me to another, another thing, okay? Joe Rogan was talking to an MMA boxer, a female, and she said that 
She dumped her I boyfriend. I saw that shit. Can you look up who it was real quick? I don't know who the chick was, but I saw... Just I look saw. it up. Joe Rogan, uh, MMA woman dumps boyfriend over knockout. So her name's Miriam, Miriam Nakamoto. Nakamoto. Yeah. So go ahead and play a few seconds of this. But we went out of country we fought on the same card he fought the day before me i fought the next day during the fight he almost gets knocked out as this guy is mauling him he goes like this and he sticks his what do you out. think i was thinking um not good thoughts mm, the boyfriend the boyfriend my boyfriend, boyfriend was, like like this yeah you didn't like it <laughs> did it turn you uh, off oh my god so much Whoa! I was like, dude, you're getting fucked up, and you drop you, as you're falling to the canvas. You kneel. All right. So basically, what I'm thinking there is, what does that do? Because now, number one, he's brave enough to get in the ring and fight, right? He gets hit in the and knocked out, right? And he can't even control. I've seen guys when they get a full knockout, their arms go stiff. You know what I mean? Kind of like reminds me of like a dead mouse in a trap. Like their arms just go stiff straight stiff and they fall back mm. you can't mm -hmm. help it so what you're saying is if i ever get knocked out to the point where my nervous system like well, folds up that all of a sudden i'm gonna get dumped because i'm a pussy well nah bro he's like, not a pussy he's nah. a fighter I, I i agree with you but like the thing is what she was going off on she, she was saying this motherfucker had a moment in that fight where he was just like like he knew it was over like he was just taking it like, where he didn't taking it like dig in right yeah. where he didn't dig in yeah and, and that's what I'm saying, though. Like, it's possible you get rung and you can't go to that place where you yeah. dig in. You're just completely, like, rung. Yeah. So you're not thinking. You're not able to think. All you can do is instinctively <laughs> just go into baby piss. You know what I mean? Now, I don't know about that now, nah, but because that shit reminded me of something I remember happened in boxing years ago. I don't remember cuz name. But this nigga cried in the ring. Oh. This nigga cried in the ring, bro. Well, you, shit like that. There's no like, crying in baseball. Nah, but this is boxing. <sighs> you ever seen a league of their own? Yes. Yeah, that's Tom Hanks. There's no crying in baseball. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, ain't no balling up in MMA fighting either. Right, Tom it Hanks, who, who ran away to Greece because he didn't want to get questioned here in the United States for all the weird shit he does at the pedophile island. Anyway, let's not go that way. So we were just talking about some uh, basic women's rights and all that stuff and I think we pretty much covered all the bases what do you think sure I'm with it um yeah at the answer to the question I don't think that women specifically want to be equal I think that there's a uh there's a mental rift there because you really want to want to be equal you know what I mean it's like it's like that want to want to be yeah it's like I wish that I wanted I wish that I might that I wish that I might right 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 but I wish that I I wish that I made that I wish that I might yeah. So, I mean, honestly, I wish that, honestly, I wish men were at the point where we could just say, well, just be confused for a bit. That's fine. We'll take care of things. But, oh, God. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, that wouldn't end well either. Hey, man. But, you know, I just, you know, we all just got to wish that we could just wish that we could do what we could do. So, uh, that being said, guys. That's all you could do is do what you could do. Um, go down there, hit like. Hit subscribe if you're not subscribed already. Absolutely. Leave a comment. What do you think about the subject? Know what happens if you don't. Leave a comment. If, you know what I mean? He's threatening you, but <laughs> I guess that's just... That's not the same. That's his thing. He threatens hey, people. Don't forget to uh, go check out I Sell Glass, show. Yeah, I Sell Glass get, dot com. Yeah, get on that. Promo code A6Studios. Uh, <laughs>